This is all coming from some very odd part of Andrew's mind. I really love it because it's, it's so very original. It's graceful like a classic. It's really a story about the triumph of the human spirit and the triumph of the will. I say we sample every employee within the parameters. <laughs> I suggest blood from the vein. They are going to find me. My name, as I say, is Michael Felgate, and... This is my story. <laughs> Mr. Vitale, you're dead. That is it, right? N finito, no more favors. The story of how I went from being a relatively respectable English person FBI! to being the notorious and dreaded Mickey Blue Eyes. Does this hurt? Parker, a camera only. Cameras. 371 take one guy. Max on presents the making of Columbia Pictures Spice World. The whole world is waiting for this show. We will take you where you gotta go. Join the Spice Girls as they take us on a journey behind the scenes of their feature film debut. You want me to produce your war? New Line Cinema presents a comedy about what could really happen behind the scenes in politics. War is show business. Roll sound, please. Hey, Mark. Dustin Hoffman. You put me in a room with talent. Ooh. Electric. Robert De Niro. Eight days from now, I'm going to be taking you folks into the second term. In a film by Barry Levinson. Wag the dog. Oh, Adolescence is a time of innocent discovery. But Todd Bowden is about to uncover. Hey, what are you doing after school? I'm busy. The essence of evil. What you have done is a violation. Every grade is way down. Even your strongest subject. You have to be worthy. March. I. Okay, cut. That was great, Brad. For director Brian Singer. This was a compelling story of adolescent curiosity coming face to face with evil. Soon they begin to twitch. <laughs> Act pupil. You can't do this, Todd. Experience the majesty. This is the Lord's doing. The mystery. She's plainly guilty. She is a heretic. Who are you? The bishops are against you and have no fear of you. Do not be afraid of them. They do not expect you to survive. Feed her to the wolves. And the power. For God's sake, you are still my Elizabeth. I am not your Elizabeth. Do not fear to strike. Of a queen. I present unto you Elizabeth, your undoubted queen. Action. I thought, well, this is such an interesting project because the sense of Elizabeth is so received from the end of her reign, I thought it would be interesting to approach it with a what if perspective. What does she have to do in order to survive? Does she go on being loving, joyous, caring, or does she cut that out, become a shell of a person, a ruthless, powerful monarch, but inside just a shell? We'll have one mistress here and no master. Elizabeth. Rehearse this one. Dear God. Why would anyone want to kill him? Well, it wasn't exactly Father Christmas. Tough luck on whoever's got any secrets to hide. Apparently, he wasn't stabbed after all. Whoever he is, I'll find him. I always do. Welcome to Gosford Park, where everyone has something to hide. Bottled up, bite your way out. And this, of course, developed into a uh, such an ensemble piece. I mean, there's 
35 characters in this. I just am kind of overwhelmed at the variety of brilliant and amazing actors that we've assembled for this piece. Looking around and seeing Maggie Smith over there and Kristen Scott Thomas in that direction and Jeremy Northam there and Derek Jacobi over there and Alan Bates in that direction. Oh, good. Good. Robert has this amazing um, knack for uh, choreographing the scenes, really. I will meet her. He just sort of stands there waving his hands a bit and it all magically kind of seems to fall into place. Action! I know violent men. I deal with them day in and day out. Somebody took my little girls. He deserves to try for what he done. You're talking about a miracle? I am. I'd say let's get the big shot first. If we have to, we can pick up better buck tomorrow. It feels sometimes like someone's looking out for us. They're giving us what we need at the right moment. John Coffey, you have been condemned to die in the electric chair by a jury of your peers. Questions? Do you leave the light on after bedtime? It's that great mystery. It's that great injection of, you'll never believe what happened here. Hit the lightning, boys, hit the lightning! This is the story of a miracle that happened here where I work, on the Green Mile. Focus Features presents a landmark motion picture. Action! From visionary filmmaker Roman Polanski. Based on a true story of one man's struggle. To survive cruelty and inhumanity. film about that period and I had a very hard time finding the proper material. When I read The Pianist, I knew right away that that's something I wanted to do. Help you, sir, or just looking? Here to see Tony Calvino. Yeah, and who are you? Mike Sullivan. There are many stories about Michael Sullivan. Some say he was a decent man. Some say there was no good in him at all. This man is not a superhero. He's a very, very proficient killer. A man who doesn't want his son to find out. I once spent six weeks on the road with him in the winter of 1931. This is our story. From the Academy Award-winning director of American Beauty, Sam Mendes. You're often, as a filmmaker, looking for some kind of mythic story or a story that holds a mythic weight. And car! Comes an epic tale of a father and son transformed by tragedy. Get out! What? What's going on? Get out! Road to perdition. You have a feeling that that's not, the, say, the road to utopia or the road to Bali. You don't want to live this way. What's Papa's job? He goes on missions for Mr. Rooney. They're very dangerous. That's why he brings his gun. Man of honor always pays his debts and keeps his word. Based on the original graphic novel by Max Allen Collins and Richard Pierce Rayner, Road to Perdition brings together Hollywood's brightest young talent with Oscar-winning legends in front of and behind the camera, including two-time Academy Award winner Tom Hanks, Oscar-winning screen legend Paul Newman, Oscar nominee Jude Law, and the father and son producing team of Richard and Dean Zanuck.